Hi Church family, this is Chris Carr. Today we're on the property site. We've got a great video coming up for you and uh, we're making quite a bit of progress. But um, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, the fact that we need your prayer, we need your muscle, and we need your financial support for this church. Now remember, God loves a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians 9, 7, not begrudgingly. But in this day and age and the time frames that we're in, um, as far as returning to the school, that might not be a possibility. So we wanted to lift this up before you and uh, listen to this video because something very special about this video and the message uh, that's coming from Bob for those who get involved. Thanks so much. Welcome everybody to Acton Faith Bible Church. This is our new church. Pro this is the property we're building the new church on. And uh, my name's Ray Hensley. I've been working on, on the building committee for 10 years. I'm Bob Wineland, and I was invited to come aboard to serve to uh, oversee the, all the foundation work on the church. We've been, uh, this project's been 20 years in the making. We were uh, donated a piece of property up the road that didn't work out because of water, and we sold that piece of property, the, the church did. And then we bought this 10 acre parcel and we have four phases. This is the first phase of putting in this small sanctuary. There's three other phases. It'll the large sanctuary, past a parishioner, and a school. Uh, to date, we've done a lot of work. It's all underground. The grading alone was a, uh, this five acres was graded and certified. And we have put in all the utilities to date. We have uh, brought in a 10 inch, 12 inch to 10 inch water main. We've put in stormwater, Coltec stormwater underground under the two parking lots. We've had, uh, we brought in our foam, brought in our electric, brought in our gas. And now we've started on the footings and Bob, we've been blessed to have Bob come along and get, do the footings for us so that we can install behind, behind uh, Taylor, we can install the 12 modular buildings. And that's kind of where we're headed right now with money and our and our uh, and our strength. So what you see behind me is the west wing of the modular foundations that we're just about finished with. And we had quite a big pour um, on this section right through here, about 70 cubic yards, and uh, everything has gone well to date. Um, it's a, it's a rather sophisticated um, foundation, actually, considering that it has two different types of buildings that we're building and that, that work together and join together. The, the west modulars is a, is a, a flip-flop of the east modulars over here to the opposite side, and you'll see some of the foundation pedestals that have already been put in place. Those are That's all modular-related, pre-manufactured buildings that are going to set on those and be brought in and set. They're here on the property. And the church has had them for a while. Um, the very center portion of, uh, is the sanctuary, and this will be a steel structure. It's a different kind of building. Although it is steel, like the modulars, it's going to be erected on site, and it's really the grandiose part uh, of the sanctuary that stands tall and, and, and the, main, the main portion of the church. Um, it's been uh, a great um, effort with the volunteer uh, guys that have, have come stepped up to offer their help and we're doing re actually very well and we're, we're building it almost at a cost of uh, something that I think is a, a very valuable to the church um, my ex my experience is a, is a licensed general contractor but I've done 40 years in, in structural concrete so this this kind of work is right up my alley and having really a lot of fun so Schedule is an issue that we're looking at carefully considering the funds that are available. And the building committee has asked me to move forward in full force to try to uh, finish everything that we can uh, in terms of the, the west modulars, the east modulars, and also the connecting footings that are involved in the sanctuary. And that is the schedule that we're looking at to, to tackle this summer. We've hired some of the young guys at, at church are on, on payroll and working hard. And I've also hired a couple of other guys that are experienced concrete men that, that are gonna be very valuable in pushing this work forward. Um, the, the plan is to complete over this summer the east modulars 
and the connecting uh, sanctuary footings, and which would essentially leave the sanctuary building in the center yet to be done. So on a personal note, about eight months ago, I met with Pastor Wayne for breakfast just for fun. And he encouraged me to get involved in the construction project because they had had a, a pretty sizable donation. And I, I was reluctant uh, for, for many reasons, but primarily because I, construction is my trade and I didn't want to serve in that way. But realizing that I have really never served very well at Dr. Faith Bible Church um, for the 20 years that I've raised my family and Kim and I have come to this church, I decided to talk to Ray and, and, and get involved. And it's been, it's really been very rewarding. The blessing here with Acton Faith Bible Church at this point, with all the hard work and all the years we've put in, that we're, is that we're finally coming out of the ground and we can actually see day, day by day what we're doing. Uh, the money has been miraculously coming in as needed and we're, we want to put the, uh, the modular buildings in place maybe in the next four, four months. Those, those could actually be in place. We could be working on those, winterizing them. And the steel structure, we're talking to the construction steel structure guy now for bids. So it's it's really great that we're coming up out of the ground and we're so close. It's, it won't be too much time we'll have this place built and we'll be moving in and having our first worship.